Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. Today we'll discuss about how to prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet. Now for this we'll use the trial balance which we have prepared earlier with the help of the questions which we have been provided during our journal entry preparation. We'll use this trial balance for the preparation of profit and loss account and balance sheet. So let's begin. The first step is to open both profit and loss account and balance sheet simultaneously. Now coming to the trial balance again, you can see there are four types of accounts in the bal in the trial balance. Those are assets, expenses, liabilities and revenues. So what we need to do is to incorporate expense and revenue in profit and loss account. and assets and liabilities in balance sheet. Now there is a convention of writing liability on a particular side and asset on the other but we have to keep in mind that this is a convention not a rule so we can keep asset on either left side or right side it doesn't matter actually so let's come to our question now our first account is cash account and we have a debit balance for cash account the cash is an asset so we'll write cash on the asset side and we'll write the amount the next account is capital account this is a liability having a credit balance so we mention capital on liability side the amount is 150000 but capital needs to be adjusted for drawings and net profit or loss so we are not using the whole amount of capital we have kept it for provisions of uh, adding these drawings and uh, net profit or loss as means we'll get it and uh, as per our calculations during the process so let's come to the next account which is purchase account purchase is considered to be an expense so we'll write it in the profit and loss account and the amount would be 54500 next account is Manisha account which is 36,000 now these names are not incorporated directly in balance sheet they are said to be sundry creditors
the name would be Manisha and it's 36,000 the next one is stationary which is an asset so we'll write stationary on the asset side That is 2200. Then we have bank, which is also an asset. So we write bank on the asset side, which is 40,000 rupees. Now we come to the next one, sales, that is 32,300, sales is a part of revenue, so it would be incorporated in profit and loss account, so we write sales, which is 32,300. Now, Ritu account, which is also sundry creditor, so would be written some Ritu that is 20,000 insurance premium is a kind of expense so it would be incorporated in expense part now why I'm writing it uh, here with so much amount of gap now we have to segregate the expenses in a operating expense and uh, non-operating or you can call direct expenses or indirect expense so the direct expenses and uh, the revenues are used to calculate the gross profit or loss uh, while the indirect expenses um, are also incorporated to uh, calculate this net profit or net loss so for the calculation of gross profit or loss so we have uh, means been keeping this amount of gap between the direct expenses and indirect expenses so insurance insurance premium okay it's insurance premium the amount is 6000 rent is also an expense so we write rent the amount is 2000 this is also an indirect expense like charity this is 1500 another indirect expense furniture it's an asset so we'll write that in the asset part it's 11200 drawings drawings are normally deducted from the capital so you deduct drawing this is 5000 interest received is another income but it's an non-operating income so we'll write it here it's interest received sorry the amount is 1200 I guess 
So commission paid. It's three thousand. Commission paid is three thousand. Telephone bill two thousand. Writing the short form. Two thousand. Next, we come to salaries. It's twelve thousand. Now, all the elements of uh, trial balance has been incorporated. Now, now we'll come to the calculation part. So, the dif uh, difference between the cost of goods sold and uh, sales are considered to be gross profit or loss so here uh, the revenue side is smaller than the purchase side so we need to add on the revenue side to make it balance so I guess it's Yeah, it's balanced, and this balance would be this uh, additional amount would be called as gross loss. CD, this will be brought down here. So, gross loss amount. The amount is two twenty two thousand two hundred. Okay. Fine. So we need to add up all these. So we have a total amount of like seven hundred. Then we have it's eight for forty eight thousand seven hundred. So the balance on both the sides should be forty eight thousand seven hundred. So we need to add something to this part to make it balance. So First of all, we'll add that amount. That amount would be four seven five double zero. That will make it forty eight thousand seven hundred, and we'll call this net loss. And this amount would be carried or brought down here as it is a loss. So it would be deducted from the capital if it would have been profit then it would have been added to the capital so now we get the total of the capital here so total capital amount would be ninety seven thousand five hundred the total sundry creditors would be fifty six thousand so adding both the sides will get one five three five double zero I guess Okay, fine. Now we'll add the asset side. Okay. 
so now we can see that uh, asset and liability sides are balanced by itself and uh, this is how a balance sheet works like for all other accounts uh, ledger or profit and loss you have to balance it but balance sheet becomes balanced automatically if all the uh, process as well as the entries has been made perfectly hope this video helps you uh, understand how to prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet thank you for watching this video